through the Shape Recognition series. Uh, sorry, it's been a couple years since I released uh, this next video and the one after, but uh, better late than never, right? So um, I just wanted to uh, get these videos out there eventually, so sorry for the delay. Uh, I wanted to show you guys also that in the left-hand side, where the code was. This is the same functionality as where we left off in tutorial one, but I'm kind of following best practice a little bit more. And um, so I updated it and I wanted you guys to know that um, if you guys see any sort of bad practice in my code, please let me know and I'll get it changed in GitHub or file an issue on my GitHub, whatnot, I'll get it fixed. So where we left off last tutorial was we had this input image and we have this output binary image. Now we got the output binary image by cv2.inrange which is just thresholding for pixel values between 0 and 15 so that we can extract the black. Now we also did fine contours on the binary image so what this is doing is looking at all the white in this bottom image and seeing how you, how it can find uh, connected you know surfaces on it. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to end up detecting this triangle right here. And um, so we'll go ahead and get started, I guess. Um, the first function we'll make is uh, find shapes. So um, when, let's say we're going to give this to a client or some user is going to end up using this API. We don't want them to have to say, oh, like we got to call uh, get binary image, get contours, pass it into find shapes, and then we're good to go. So we're going to have find shapes kind of being the overarching uh, algorithm or, you know, algorithmic piece in this class. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to have to... So if I loop, if I show you this again, is um, our contours is a big list around these white pixels. So what we want to do is we want to see, okay, what do our contours look like? Do they look good? Are the contours surrounding these shapes? Because if they're surrounding the shapes, then we can start finding features from those contours to classify them. Um, so first thing we need to do is uh, draw the contours out in the image. So we're gonna do we're gonna loop through each one and draw it on a debug image. What we'll do is self dot draw debug and we'll pass in a contour. Now we'll go ahead and make our draw debug self, and then we're gonna make a debug image, and we're just gonna image dot copy. Now what we'll do is cv 2draws self.debug image. Um, and then we want to pass in the contour. We're not going to just print all contours right now because we're, later on we'll end up using this function to draw text onto uh, text onto the image to show what we're classifying the shape as. All right. So now we have that. We'll go ahead and get rid of this. Call shape recognition dot find shapes, and then we'll do shape recognition dot binary image and shape recognition dot debug image. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right, so these are what our contours look like. As you can tell, um, it would be pretty hard. Uh, or you can see that there's noise in here. You can see these red dots. Um, so those are all closed contours. Now, uh, we also have pretty good, um, I guess, outlines of the shapes. So we're, we did a pretty decent job. Like these binary images are pretty clean. However, you can tell that there's like this indent right here. So we want to um, clean up this binary image so that our contours are a little cleaner so we can get a good um, approximation of the sides. But before we do that, I want to show you guys that uh, we need to do that. So what we'll do first is actually approximate the sides of the contours. 
and try to classify the triangle. So we'll use OpenCV's approx polydp function. And what this does is it approximates, uh, it basically uh, approximates the curves in the contour. So you provide it an epsilon value, which is what I'm doing right here. So epsilon, and we're, we're gonna do 0 0.02 times the arc length of the contour. So that's the total length. And the 0 0.02, is going to be, uh, you know, it's a feature. So what we'd want to do is pass that in so that the user can tune that if they needed to. So we'll call this epsilon, uh, we'll call this epsilon factor 0 0.02, epsilon factor. All right, so then this true right here is, does the contours close? So, um, as you can see, these contours close, so that helps it approximate, you know, what is the side. So, do is let's print uh, for each contour. Let's print the lengths of the approximation. So let's print the number of sides we're seeing, and see what's going on. All right. So we get like two, four, six. As you can see, there's way more contours than shapes. So to clean up the binary image. Um, and it kind of clean up where the black enters the shape right here. Um, so as you can see, like our contours kind of go into the black shape. It's not very clean, fill in these holes. We're gonna do a morphological operation called dilate. And um, so we'll do self.binary image, cv2.dilate. And what dilate does is it passes, it uh, slides a kernel over the image. And if any pixel within that kernel is one, it sets all the pixels in, in the kernel to be one. So our kernel is gonna be a n by n matrix of ones. Uh, oops. Pi dot unsigned int eight. Okay, so uh, we pass in this kernel, five by five, five um, pixels and if there's one pixel within that five by five matrix all of the pixels will become white so let's look at our image now all right so that looks a lot better as you can see the contours follow the image a lot better um, they're not as like indented into the shape there isn't any holes uh, if you look at the number of sides we see a very clear uh, it you know got rid of a ton of contours you see one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have six shapes. So that's perfect. Now, what we can do is go ahead and find our triangle. So hint, what do you think our triangle is? Down here, where the contour is equal to three sides. So let's go ahead and um, so if, the length of the approx. So approx, you know, is the uh, is a list of sides. So if the length is greater than or equal to, th well, is equal to three, it's a triangle. So we'll do a self dot draw debug. And uh, let's do, what we'll do is go ahead and print out the text to it. So shape class, and we'll go ahead and draw text onto it. So that draw, oh, sorry, put text, self dot, debug image, shape class. Now, what we need to give it is uh, a location. So we'll leave that blank for now. And, and I'm just gonna give it some, 
color and font size parameters that make it look good that I've kind of looked at beforehand. So okay. now we needed to calculate the center X and center Y of the contour. So our the approximate returns a list of vertices and we can calculate the moments of that list of vertices by using the OpenCV's moments function. And um, I would strongly recommend you guys go read up on moments. It's a pretty cool uh, quantitative measure to describe the uh, spatial distribution of a set of points. The zeroth order moment is the total mass, and the first order moment divided by that zero and orderth moment is the center of that mass. So we can get the center x by taking, uh, we'll cast it to an int m, and this is the first order of the moment in the x direction divided by the zeroth order of the moment, which is again the total mass. Now we'll do the same thing in the y direction. Oops. All right. So first order divided by zeroth order. Now we're going to go ahead and just pass that into the triangle, or sorry, the draw debug function, cx, cy, cx, cy. All right, so let's go ahead and show that. All right, so it's right in the center. Now let's go ahead and shift it down a little bit to the left a little bit, minus 35. Remember, I'm doing plus 65 because the image the top left pixel is zero, 00, so it increases downwards. All right, so we've successfully classified a triangle. So uh, that is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and uh, classify the rest of the shapes. So hope, to, hope you guys are there watching, um, and thank you for watching this tutorial. All right, bye.